Patreon. Yo, I'm not doing this with y'all today. So, yo, we jumping straight into it, bro. I'm going to keep saying it, fam. Join the Patreon, bro. It's a lot of opportunities out here and a lot of money to be made. And listen, I'm not even saying the OMI token is a bad investment. The OMI token is just not something that needs to be invested in right now. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, what you have to understand about the OMI token is it's not listed on exchanges. A lot of things has to happen because VV is playing safe and all these other things, all these other details, bro. They're not taking risks. Their plan is super, super safe in certain areas. And they VV and Ecomi is moving how VV and Ecomi moves. That's what it is. Now, I hear the Binance listing is coming and all these things, but and it sounds good. It sounds real, real good. I, I like the way that it sounds, but I mean, VV has been sounding good for years now. So... That being said, don't be surprised that the OMI token is looking like this, bro. And to be fair, a lot of a lot of things in the market is dropping right now. So it's not it's not the only thing out here looking, you know, looking kind of sketch, looking kind of kind of bad. But what I will say is that the returns that you all have seen on the OMI token, um scratch that. I mean, I thought it would be some type of return, but bro, I'm up so many Listen, bro. Oh, I mean, nobody's ever made returns, it looked like. So, listen, bro, <laughs> I will say this. I'm glad I've taken my time to learn more about the broader crypto space and start to understand a lot of other projects. What you have to understand is that a lot of projects are not as risky as VV. Back when I was head over heels inside of the VV bubble, I didn't see that there was so much opportunity with so much less risk. There was companies that VV is going to eventually need and Ecomi is going to eventually need if they're going to take VV to certain levels and do certain things. There are so many cool things that you can invest in that comes with less risk than VV. And it, it comes with a, we're in a um we're, we're in the middle of a bull run, bro. Like this it's only gonna it's only gonna get a lot better, man. And I mean, is VV going to go up? Does VV have some potential to do some crazy things? Absolutely. We can see some crazy things from VV, especially if they list on some exchanges. But are they going to do that? Are, are, are they going to? We, we don't know. And even if they do, these other investments are still a lot more solid, regardless. Because at the end of the day, the OMI token does not have a use case. It does not have a reason to go up. There's no there's no liquidity in it. It's like, what are... What why why would this why would this be blowing up bro like look, look at this like what's what's going on like look, look look at this token bro so there's a lot of other projects with a lot more going on you have teams coming out announcing that they're they're, they're announcing when they're going to be listing on exchanges there are now there is so much free game or, or there's so much game i'm not going to keep calling it free because like i said um a lot of the, the information I'm going to be giving and stuff like that is going to be Patreon. My Patreon, I'm setting out to build a community of investors serious about building wealth during this bull run. Listen, if if, if a lot of y'all can, can be out here getting VV half a million dollars every single drop that they drop, bro, $25 to sit here and be around people who's going to help you change your life forever. Listen, that's not that's not a steep price to play to pay in my opinion, especially for all this game and information on this bull run, bro. Like my last investment was up two hundred percent. Now I'm not I'm not taking profits or nothing like that. I'm not taking hey that, that's just what it is. We still not taking profits. This is the beginning right now. I have conviction in the stuff that I'm holding, so I'm not taking that two hundred percent is cool. But I'm gonna need a couple more thousands off of that. Like you know what I'm saying, and that's the type of stuff that I'm investing in, the stuff that can actually get that. Stuff that can actually go up two, two, five thousand percent. Like that that's the type of stuff that that's the type of opportunity that's out there. Seriously. Seriously. Like not not on no sketchy, you know, like this is serious opportunity out here right now. And people are sitting around hoping for the Omi token to move for what? Like, like what are people gonna use the Omi token for? To buy things on VV. Then what? The only people who care about Master Collectors program are VV collectors, people who hold stuff on here and who VV is like Quid 2.0. The people who were still collecting over there on Quid after it was already dead, and they 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 was just there collecting because it's like they were already part of that community and they loved it already. And I hate to put VV in that same category, but that's what it is. VV is the modern day Quid. Are they ever going to bring gaming and different types of utilities and fun things to VV that keeps it alive? Probably. I believe that they will. This is why I say VV is a 10 year investment. But you're in the middle of one of the greatest bull runs in, in, in history, in the history of the world. Like, you're in the middle of this bull run sitting here looking at a 10-year project. 
Like making it your everything, ma ma making a 10 year project your everything, bro. Like I'm not saying people need to abandon VV at all, but I will bring it to your attention that you're missing out on major gains, major opportunities sitting here watching this chart go down. Like, like what are you looking at over here? Like, like, like what, what, what are you doing? Like, why would you even want to look at this, bro? Like who would, who would want to sit around this community looking at this? You could run up your your bread and different. You could run up your bread in different opportunities. Put a little bit of profits because I'm not, a, bro. I would not. I'm not investing into this, this project this year. I don't care where it goes to. I'm not investing in this project this year. That's what it is. It's too much opportunity out here for me to be investing in VV and Ecomi. I'm sorry, personally, I'm not doing it. But get gains elsewhere, and you can take that back and put it in the home team. Bring bring the bag back to your home team if you have that type of conviction in it. I still got to see a little bit more before I'm out here just putting bags back into VV and things like that. But yeah, it's, this this is not this is not what you want to be looking at. This is not the sentiment you need. This, but then again, there's still no reason for this to go up. This is what you have to understand. And then when gaming pops off, bro, it's a lot of interesting games out here in the Web three space. Like we were all speculating that Metaverse tokens was going to blow up and things like that, which they still are, but. Why would VVs and the Omi token blow up? Like you can say that it's associated with the most powerful brands in the world, and that is a, a huge factor. But I mean, it's been around so long, and it's done nothing. Like the thing is, it does have all these brands, but other companies are starting to get these brands too. Other companies has had these same brands as VV, and they went under. What's stopping VV from going under? Look at their Omi token. Like you can argue if you look at these charts, you can argue it's already done gone under. Like look, look at this. This is the only token. This the this the only token. Like you can argue that it's all. I'm just saying, bro. Like th this chart ain't looking good. So, listen. If you want to learn about some other opportunities and you want to learn about some other stuff that could actually be getting you serious gains, some like some real tech because. Crypto is not just about it's not just about lucking up and using IP and things like that. A lot of the reasons that I invested in the Omi token was uh, very ignorant to what the broader technologies of the space was capable of. I was just excited. I saw basically my logic was simple, probably like a lot of you alls are. They can sell these freaking weird ass apes for all this money, and Batman's over here for less than that. Boom! Obviously, these Batman's are going to be worth more. Obviously, this Spider-Man is going to be worth more. That That's the logic. I, I know. I know it well. I was the same. But once you realize there's some serious stuff out here, it's some serious technology that's going to solve serious problems, and it's so obvious. We looking at it in our world every day. We can see things in our world every day telling us that this is a fact. It's not speculation of, are people going to respect collectibles on VV? Are people going to respect this? Are, is the Omi token going to be listed? Is this, is this? No, it's none of that. It's look around you at real life. Did you go, have you gone shopping lately? Did you, when was the last time you ate at a restaurant? You see this, you see that, you see that? 100% fact. This right here, this project is going to impact that space. Boom, invest in that project. That, that, that is what's out there. So this is why it, I think that it's silly to be going so hard into VV right now when opportunities like that currently exist. Y'all know, y'all know me. I put a lot of research in. I put a lot of effort into the stuff that I'm bullish about. And like I said, VV just ain't showing me nothing. Like I, I'm not, and it's not, and even if they were, I know how long it's going to take them to accomplish a lot of the stuff that they want to accomplish. Like, even if stuff was to start blowing up and exploding on VV, it wouldn't be as, as good as my other investments. So it's like, I don't, I wouldn't care still. And then there's so much stuff that it's just a gamble. There's so many NFTs, you don't know which NFT is going to blow up. If the Omi token starts to blow up, I mean, I doubt that it blows up to the extent that a lot of my other projects blow up. It's just, the Omi token would have to, to blow, blow. The, the Omi token would have to surpass the last all-time high. And even still, it probably wouldn't come like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. A lot would have to happen for the Omi token to really be, for this project to really make sense this bull run. A lot would have to happen for this to make sense this bull run. 
I'm not one of the ones who's given up on the project and think that it's worthless and not worth getting into at any point. I think we need more time to, we need to give them more time to see what they're going to do and see what they're going to accomplish. But I see all the people sitting here arguing and, and upset and scared and, and hating the fact that the price is moving down and expecting it to go up. Like it shouldn't even be an expectation for this to go up. You shouldn't have an expectation for it to go anywhere. You shouldn't, you just really shouldn't. But um, there we have it, man. I, I just want to make this video talking about the Omi token, my take on it right now, because this price is crazy. This price is 100% crazy. And yeah, I mean, there's better out there. And I'm gonna keep putting it in your head that there is better out there. I'm not a financial advisor, but I am around a lot of solid people who gives me a lot of great information, who, who, who is helpful, who wants everybody to eat. Like so many people in the community, like it is a lot of great people out here eating together. So many of us are in on really great projects, making money, making returns, and people are still here. You know, we get called footers if we say something negative about Vivi, and it's not really negative. We can say what Vivi is doing, and because Vivi is doing something negative, the fact that we mentioned it makes us sound negative by default. We sound ne like if we just, if we literally recite what Vivi did, we'll sound negative reciting it because they did something negative, and people don't hold them accountable for it. They just hold us accountable for talking about it. It's it's weird. It it is a weird it's a weird sentiment. But there's a lot of people making money right now in this bull run. A lot more money to be made, and it, it hasn't even started yet. The Bitcoin having hasn't even come yet. The, the the altcoin season ain't even begun yet, baby. But anyway, there we have it. Join the Patreon. Join the squad. Come join the money team, man. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.